Hey everybody, Riley Kitts here, Government Affairs Director for the Children's Campaign, coming to you from my living room, like a lot of you are, uh, because we're about entering week three of staying, at, you know, we're finishing up week three of staying at home, uh, you know, social distancing from each other and hunkering down with our friends and family. And here I have my beautiful wife, Alyssa, who's practicing great social distancing. And over here I have Whiskey doing his job. And then I have, let's see here, where did he go? Gonna send. All here practicing social distancing. But I wanna say thank you to all those who don't have this luxury, who have to go and do the essential work that we need to survive as a community, as a society, as a state. So thank you to those frontline medical workers. Thank you to those childcare workers. Thank you to those grocery clerks. Thank you to all of our sanitation um, and uh, waste management folks. It's really been um, inspiring to see all those people still on the front lines. I hope you're staying happy, safe, and healthy. We did get some good news today or this week from the uh, Supreme Court. The General Assembly can extend its legislative session. So there's been some ambiguity swirling for a little while, right? Can the session continue past May 6th? Uh, can the 120 days not be consecutive? So the Supreme Court did rule in a four to three decision that the General Assembly can extend their legislative session in a public health crisis. And that means that the lawmakers will be coming back in you know, late April, May, June to continue the work for families and children in Colorado. We are really excited about this decision. There's a lot of policies still on the table that we believe need to be enacted to help Colorado kids and families. We have policies around basic cash assistance. We have policies around paid family leave. We have policies around immunizations, a whole host of policies that are now back on the table that can be worked on once the legislature reconvenes. But that's not it. They also need to work on things around economic recovery and health coverage. A lot of issues have been exposed with the spread of this uh, coronavirus, with this crisis. And I believe it's pertinent, and the Children's Campaign believes it's pertinent, that lawmakers reconvene to work on those issues. So we're really excited that they get to do that. And we stand ready to help lawmakers, to help policymakers, to help bill drafters work on the best policies for kids and families, both for short-term, medium-term recovery, and then longer-term policies, things that we know that need to get done for years and years to come. So really excited for that work to continue. I also wanted to give a big shout out to a good friend of ours, the Children's Campaign, Lauren Snyder at Mental Health Colorado, welcomed a brand new baby boy to the world yesterday morning, uh, Oren William Snyder the sixth came in happy and healthy around 8.30 yesterday. We are so excited for Lauren, so excited for her growing family. We hope she's doing great. Uh, I was ecstatic when I heard the news. Um, we really wanted to give that shout out to her. You guys know where to find us. Keep on following us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Check out our website. We are working diligently to analyze everything from the federal government, analyze what the governor is saying, and provide you with the most up-to-date resources. Check us out, contact us if you need help. Otherwise, stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive. We'll talk to you soon.